welcome viewers welcome to my channel today in this video i will show you how to make a thermometer with rubbing alcohol food color glido markers a bottle and straw so let's start first we need alcohol it's also known as ethanol or you can see it as is a fried alcohol or you can use sanitizer also i am using here alcohol next i am using clay dough this clay dough will be used to cover the top of the bottle so that the alcohol can make the temperature to be measured correctly i am using a straw this straw will be used to keep inside the bottle so that the temperature can rise then we need to food color this is a red food color which i am going to use you can use any food color and at last i am using a bottle with the cap with a hole you can use a sharp knife heat it and make a hole through it through this hole we are going to keep the straw inside now let's start the activity this alcohol is orange in color we have to make it red so let's make it red in color this is the food color i have made a hole in it i have made it red in color now first i close the bottle and mix it a little carefully on the top or bottom floor This is the red alcohol with the color. Now we are going to take the straw and put it inside it. This hole. So let's put it inside. But I think it can be put through this. So I open the cover and I am making it. inside now i have kept this make sure it doesn't touch the bottom of it just keep it a little up this much is okay now the side part is remaining we are going to use the clay dough this clay dough to cover it and we use the red color so let me open it i have made a circle now we will make a hole through it so that we can make it go inside and make it cover let's make a hole i have a old color pencil which i am not using anymore so i will make a hole Let us see if it works or not. And he gives something on top of it so that this alcohol doesn't comes out and it gets remain in its position. First, before that, we are going to use that crayon or color pencil. you can see the top of the gap i have used a clay to cover it because if you wouldn't have done that when the temperature will rise it will automatically flow out of it like a volcano and i know that no one wants like that to happen so i just give a clay on top of it now we will check that 
if our project was successful or not with this hair dryer. I have made a green cradle inside it with a scissor that will be the boiling point and to that it can go. When this temperature or the alcohol will come nearby here, just close it or else it will flow out. So now let's start. So that means our project was successful. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please like the video if you found it useful. Subscribe my channel if you want more project videos like this. And comment on the comment section was your project as successful as mine.